Hi there. My name is Fabricio Rojas and working as the BDM for Cala. Today I'm going to show you the, the way that the Palo Alto is integrated with New Ash. Here in the middle we had Fargo, that is uh, our Palo Alto instance. And I have uh, a server called Server Trust. And I have uh, a couple of other, of other servers called uh, uh, Client and Trust and Server 2 and Trust. Uh, also, you can see that uh, we have a, a management network. In the management network, we have our connector that is actually doing the uh, synchronization between UASH and Palo Alto, and that is going to avoid you uh, double management. I mean, this you are going to create a new server in a network. You're going to see that this server is going to come up inside uh, the, the dynamic group in the Palo Alto we have in. In, in, in our console and PSD, you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, actually the same networks with different objects, instances, reports, um, and then uh, we had our policy. In our policy, we have uh, redirection targets. Uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, our uh, port of the firewall in the trust network and the port in the uh, trust. And actually here we have the, the, the also, we have the policy that is, you can check that a, a, we had a forward policy that is any policy group from the trust network to the policy group in the trust network is going gonna, is gonna to go through the a firewall through. Here I have my, my server trust. I have a, a HTTP server running and um, here I'm doing some TCP dump. Um, to, to check what is actually happening in the server. And I'm gonna make a, a test from this server uh, to show that it actually is, is going through the, the firewall that is actually being dropped by our firewall rules. And um, here I have the, the address. Then um, now what we are gonna do is um, I'm gonna first disable the the policy to show you that, uh, that actually the, the chaining process is actually working. Okay, let's apply the policy, and now I'm gonna do the same thing, and just can see that it now we're being able to access the. HTTP server. I'm going to remove this server. If I check right now the policies and the dynamic groups, you see I have these two addresses. Actually, the is the 99.6 that is I'm using right now to to make our test to the HTTP server, and this one the 99.2. Then um, I'm gonna remove our 99.2. I'm gonna terminate this instance. And I'm gonna create a new one called server trust. And I'm gonna put it in the untrust network. If we go to check the connector, you're gonna see the is adding these new addresses. I have here the new address that is being registered in the dynamic group. Um, and if I check the instance that I just remove or terminate, you're going to see this address is being unregistered. Go to our new server, 99.7, in the vport, and add this vport 
to the policy group and trust. After that our dynamic group was updated and now we have the two instances, the former one that I used to make the test, the 99.6, and I have the new one that is the 99.7. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same test And in our monitor, you can see that uh, all these packages have been, uh, have been dropped. Well, thank you very much. Um, have a great day.